Hello everybody and welcome back to Morphine Folia. We are jumping in again. Let's play as... Who should we play as today? Who we have not played in quite some time. I... I'm not 100% sure actually. Um... Do, 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 do. Oh, these two are coming soon, are they? Uh, this is Tainted Sam, Sam Mill. Oh, damn, I didn't even know that. I need to get that done when I can. Um, but let's let's just go as Tainted Maggie. Tainted Maggie's always fun. Played as some of the normal characters at the minute. Um, haven't really been using the randomizer quite as much. We've got a labyrinth here. I have to give you a, a little hug. Scissors is unfortunate because it's terrible, but hey her. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Is it terrible as this character? It's not that bad as Maggie, actually. Thinking about it now. Like, it's still not good, but it's not that bad as Maggie anymore. Because you can actually still, like, you can run into enemies and use the, the spray of shots a little more easily. That's kind of nice. I kind of like that. Do not give me a health down. Give me a fur. Not very useful in itself. Oh, really? Really, you fucking threw Spirit of the Night down behind? There better be a key on this floor. I mean, I'm sure there will be as an XL floor, but... Because that would be super useful. Can you not? Please, sir. Dude, 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 just shoot at me. Thank you. Thank you, Muchly. But yeah, honestly, scissors, not terrible. Because we get the uh, the blood spurts that are allowing us to do a bit of extra damage up close and personal. I kind of like that. Oh, but... Plum Flute is better. <laughs> I've got to take Plum Flute for the uh, for the boss kills. It just vibes a lot better for us. But yeah, give us a bomb. Please, please give us a bomb. As for the question of the day today. As for the question of the day today. Um, hmm. I need to think of a good one. I've not really got a good one in mind already. Um, oh, hello, Soul of Eve. I'll use that for the boss as well. Why don't I? Soul of Eve for this boss and then Plum Flute for the next one. How about that? Thank you very much. That was pretty good. And a really, really good item here. And then, yeah, we'll do Plum Flute for the next one. You're going to laser beam me, but I don't really care. God damn, I forgot that this guy's been changed drastically. Pageant boy. Not bad. Of course, we'll go Angel Deal here. Come on. Please be a bomb on this floor somewhere. Please. Um, I don't really have a really good question of the day today. Hmm. Hmm. What's something that has made you unfollow YouTubers in the past? That's an interesting one. Let's let's see what I can avoid. Let's see what mistakes I can avoid making. What's what some things that previous content creators that you've done have done to stop you from watching them in the past. I think for me, there's a lot of different things. I mean, I think a lot of content creators I just grew out of. Like, I, I used to watch Jacksepticeye when I was when I was younger. Um, that was before he kind of made it big, though. I kind of, I found him when he was uh, when he was only a few subscribers. Oh come on, there's no there's no bomb on this floor. Are you kidding me? Um, I found him when he was relatively new. But anyways, um, we should definitely check out the. Uh, the library here. Bonus 20% chance to spawn a library. Teleports a player to a library on use. Eh. And we got Lemmagetum, which isn't very good because we'll end up losing the Wisps anyways. And then we got the Book of Judges. While active, beams of light strike around positions. All of these aren't very good, so I'm just going to take Bookworm. Keep my Plum Flute and be on my way. Right. Can we get a bomb, please? Really? This is tragic. This is absolutely tragic. I'm so upset about this. Absolutely no way to get a bomb out of this floor, I don't think. And there's so many areas in which bombs would be so valuable. This could give us it? Oh, it did. It did. It did. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now I'm a little less sad. Now I'm a little less sad. Good. Good. Place it here. Try and get a nickel out of it as well. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm a little happier now, because getting Spirit of the Night is super, super helpful. Actually, with Spirit of the Night, we can now go and open that golden chest as well. So why would we not do that? Yeah, it's been, it's been a different few things for, for different content creators. A lot of them, it's just been like, oh, I've just like not watched in a while. So I've kind of like fallen off with them. 
Um, some of them it's like they, they like drastically change the style of their content. A lot of them it's that they just get a bit too big and end up changing their personality, which isn't a particularly a bad thing. Like it, it does happen. I'm not going to hold it against them. But yeah, it's not exactly my favorite thing. Uh, what does this do? It's an active again. God damn it, so many actives on this floor. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's always a little bit sucky when that happens because you like them the way they were and they change, but at the same time, people change. You can't exactly expect people to say the same forever. Um, oh yeah, it's like they'll, they'll like diversify their content and it'll kind of stray quite far away from what you originally subbed to the person for, um, which... That's, that's definitely just an issue with YouTube in general, because, like, basically there's nothing saying how long you can enjoy content on YouTube, but there is so much thing, there is something saying how much a person can enjoy it. I think we take this and go with the, the, the Lost Flower Crown. I like the Mushroom, but honestly, erasing one enemy per floor is actually awesome, especially considering it just, like, Eraser the first enemy. See, with Fiendfolia, the Eraser is definitely nowhere near as useful as it once was. Um, just purely based on the fact that... Uh, oh, I, I kind of didn't realise you were an enemy I had to kill. Because I can't run into you very easily. Um, but yeah, like, just purely based on, um, like, the enjoyment of how much you can get out of a game. But at the same time, obviously, if, if people keep enjoying it and then they move to something else, it can be a bit sucky for that person. Or that, that amount of viewers... I'll buy that, why not? Bad guess. Probably shouldn't have ran into those considering I take full heart damage for that, but it is what it is. I really do love a good old tainted Maggie run here and there, so I'm glad we're playing as a We've got some really good stuff going on for this run, to be honest. I'm at the minute in a bit of a, a backlog Mageddon. Um, I do this every now and again. I I, quite, I like to keep quite a healthy backlog with my series, with, with any of the videos that I do. Mainly with Isaac. The other ones kind of fall by the wayside a lot of the time. Angry Fly, ugh. Um, a lot of them do tend to fall by the wayside every now and again, but Isaac I like to keep a healthy backlog of whenever I can. But I have to say... Pretty much since I got back from holiday, like, almost two months ago now, I've just not been able to rebuild my backlog, because that, like, absolutely emptied my backlog. Um, and I've just not had the time to rebuild it. And so I've been I've been basically living on, like, one video backlog, basically in case I get ill or something. Um, but otherwise, just, yeah, I'm back. Sorry about that. I know that you pro guys probably didn't even know that I was going to pause there, but my room was insanely hot for some reason, so I had to go and... Uh, open the windows and cool off a little bit because it was just absolutely boiling. i just been playing Warzone, my friend, and my PC, it can handle it. It can handle it pretty well, actually, but god damn does it make the PC extremely hot. <laughs> Give me a little brain, boy. Give me a little brain. Just go straight in for the boss, why don't we? Also, we've got Mr. Mega Bombs, so just spam the hell out of those. That big fat radius is going to insta-kill him, if it can hit him. Boom. Love it. That's pretty good for us. Extra heart container. I like to see it. We can yum heart straight away as well. Book of Jubilees or the old bell? Uh, hmm. See, this is tricky, because Book of Jubilees is, is pretty darn good. It gives us a lot of money over the course of the run. But that gives us good damage. I'm going to go with the damage, I think. I'll also fight you, because why not? Yeah, just because the damage is going to help a lot. We do lose it eventually, but we get it for quite a bit of time. Gimme, gimme. Thank you. And we'll make our way down. Gives us a bit of extra angel chance, keeps us going. But yeah, the worst the worst point of when you like stop following a YouTuber is when there's some sort of like crazy scandal to do with them. That's them ones are just upsetting. I've had I've had a few content creators where that's happened. Um T Martin was unfortunately one of those. I, I used to really like his content. Um I used to watch the T Martin 2 channel a lot, which is like his let's play channel, um, after I wasn't playing Call of Duty as much. Um, but then he got, like, caught up in that CSGO lotter scandal thing. 
where it was basically scamming people into uh, online gambling with CSGO skins um, and basically getting inflated odds. Um, ooh, very nice. Yeah, basically getting inflated odds for the videos. That's happened to a bunch of different people. Um, there's all these sort of gambling sites. And considering their content has been advertised to, to children, it's, it's, it's pretty scummy. Um, <coughs> there's been a lot of them. A lot of those different scams going around. Quite a big thing for a while, wasn't it? It's crazy just how many scandals there are on YouTube. I mean, even if we look at, like, just recently... Um, got the dice shard here. Excuse me, why'd you drop that? Um, even if we look at just recently in the Isaac community, like, there's been a few scandals here and there. Um, of course... Sin Victor has always been surrounded by controversy in one way or another. I don't really play into the politics of it all. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of Sin Victor personally, um, but it is what it is. Uh, but there was obviously um, the Neonomi stuff, which was, ooh, that was rough. That was, um, not Neonomi. Oh god, no. Neonomi's a fantastic. What am I talking about? No, 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 no. Neonomi is a fantastic creator. He has nothing, no faults. I apologize to Neonomi. It was, um, it was Cineto. Fucking hell. That was, that was almost a very, very unfortunate, um, <laughs> very, very unfortunate, um, what do you call it? Like, saying the wrong name. God damn. Yeah, definitely not. Neonomi. He is a fantastic creator. Nothing nothing wrong with him. Um But yeah, with with um C Neto, that was Ooh Lord, that was a bit of a bit of a sad time for, for the old Isaac community. For those of you that don't know, BD1P did a video on it um a few months back. He was actually part of the first Nuzlocke we did. Um he was a reasonably popular creator, but unfortunately he had been messaging young girls on his Discord and saying inappropriate things to these young girls. So, no, 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 no. We do not mess with that. We do not want any of that, most thank you very much. Not at all. I'm just sad to see. Why are people so gross? Tears up, that's decent. We got a burn out of it, but that'll be gone momentarily. Pop that. Keep on moving down. Yeah, it's just uh, it's just one of those things, isn't it? It's gonna happen every now and again. Hopefully the Isaac community doesn't see too much more controversy surrounding it. I like the like it's weird, kind of I feel like the Isaac community is like a a weird mix between very wholesome and quite shitty. Like, there's a lot of um there's a lot of opinionated people and a lot of uh, sort of people thinking they're better than others and all this sort of stuff. Um, but at the same time, there's also a lot of genuine people that are really nice. Okay, let's 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 just take go for an absolute pill fiend lunch. Health up, love it. Look up, love it. Tears down. Don't really mind it. Puberty. Can't quite like it. Bad gas. Not too bad. Not too bad. Ooh, deadly dose. Oh, God. Nah, I'm going to re-roll it. Hey, go ahead. Go ahead. Very nice. Yeah, deadly dose is just too much of a risk. Basically, it's like, if you're a gambler, it's the worst item for you. Because you are, you are going to gamble and it is going to get you killed. It's actually fairly safe to play it. It's not that crazy. But I just wouldn't recommend it. Okay, nice. Getting our health going back up there. Slightly annoying that the uh, the cool sunglasses coins don't just return to you at the end of the room automatically. I know it's kind of part of the downside that they don't, but it'd be nice if they did. Okay, nice. Just going to keep pushing through here. I'm really hoping we get an on-hit effect pretty soon here, because... Unfortunately, we don't have one yet, and it would be lo lovely to see one. Um, grants an explosion immunity, allows you to throw your bombs instead of placing them on the ground. Explosion immunity, that's pretty darn good, especially with the amount of bombs and bomb synergies we've got going on here. Honestly, bomb synergies-wise, we're looking real tidy. We're looking real good. Explosion immunity helped me there, out there. Very nice. 
Yeah, we can get more bombs going. We can essentially just use bombs for all of our boss fights. That's probably what I'll end up doing. I should try and go to my shop at some point. I don't quite have enough money yet. There's a few good shop items we could buy. It's always weird when you get runs like this where you just end up weirdly getting a bunch of bomb upgrades. You're not fishing for them. You're not doing anything special to, to finagle them. The game's just like, here's three really good bomb upgrades back to back to back. Got to remember as well that our uh, our damage is going to diminish as the floors go on. Our damage that we have right now is not set in stone, which is problematic because normally you want your damage to be going up as the floors go on, not down. So that could end up causing uh, causing us some issues. Nice. Uh, let's check out the shop at least. Why not? Nothing amazing. I kind of would like Mum's Key. Mum's Key is pretty darn good as it's in a drop right here. Hmm. I'm not sure how to feel about that. That took an incredibly long time for that to explode. Can I just... What the hell? Okay, maybe they're bugged. Because they're kind of like being thrown and then transforming and then exploding. Which isn't how I imagine it should work. Like they're taking way too long to blow up right now. Look, look at this. They're like detonating and then resetting. Just making them significantly worse. That's unfortunate. I'm not sure if that's a bug or that's intentional. Seems like a bug. Got a baleful heart there. That won't be staying around for long. I will check this in case there's anything that's on hit effects. Unfortunately, not really getting what we need here. I guess I'll take this. It seems kind of interesting. Right. Let's keep it going. We kind of need our red hearts, but I'm okay losing a few for that. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not particularly jazzed about this run, I'll be honest. Like, I, I was kind of loving it, but... Now our damage is, like, dwindling. We don't have any on-hit effect. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, it's not its not really got that pop that I'm looking for. I'm just, it's, it's, it's kind of bad being, a, being an Isaac YouTuber, because you get you get used to the YouTuber look. You get used to, to a certain, like, quality of life, <laughs> a certain standard of living. And when the game doesn't just throw amazing shit at you all the time, it's kind of like, eh, what the heck? Wait a minute. I ordered a YouTuber run. This is just a, this is just a, pe a peasant's run. This is a run that regular people get. <laughs> Although this this one itself is actually a little better than average. The the only problem is just it's not a great tinted Maggie run. It is a pretty good run in itself though. If that's a reroll ro room, though, I will take it. It is. Let's go for it. We got ourselves. I don't know what's going on with my tears right now. I think I've got chocolate milk in there somewhere. Yeah, I do. Chocolate milk. Um, Wicked Soul, The Wafer, G Gideon's Gaze. Not amazing, but I think we do have an on-hit effect in the Witch's Wand. Yeah, we do. Okay, nice. Oh, and that, that wafer thing is actually pretty good for us as well. Why can't we pick up this ha this health from the ground? What? Hmm. Did we break Tainted Maggie? What's that about? One of our items is not working correctly. Yeah, we can no longer take... Okay, so I went from a run that wasn't very good for Tainted Maggie to a run that literally doesn't work as Tainted Maggie. This isn't great. Wow. 
Why can't I pick up health? What's that about? Is it that? Is it? it, it I think it's that little medical item that I've got in there. The one that kind of looks like some a roll of gauze. Like, can I pick up these soul hearts? I can't pick up health at all. This is peculiar. I don't know what we've done, but we've broken everything. Okay, this thing gets kind of wacky. A bit random, but... Very hard to hit things. Not quite sure what to think of this. This thing has really ramped up quite a lot. Oh, well, Gideon's Gaze crushes those guys too. I didn't realize they counted as grimaces. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's just like, there's, there's tears dropping everywhere, but it's not really doing anything for me. Like, it's just missing all the enemies. It's pretty useless, and you can't fire while it's happening either. This runs trash. This runs hot, stinky, stinky dookie. This runs fat, fat, fat garbage. We have problems. Yeah, we have big problemers. We seem to have completely ruined Maggie. Somehow. I'm not exactly sure how we did that. If anyone would like to explain, please do let me know. I literally can't even buy health. What the hell is this? What did I do to deserve this? I'm guessing it's going to be like when I kill the boss, it's going to give me a bunch of HP. I want to go down to the next floor or something. That's what I'm guessing it's going to be. I'm honestly not 100% sure. Now, this is a room for this, I think. Yeah, the, the creep and the, the lesbians need to do significantly more damage to make this active, plausible to actually use in a real situation. Because, like, look at how much trouble I'm having killing this single basic enemy. Yeah, this just isn't worth it at all. I'm not going to use that ever again. Like, I might be misunderstanding it, but I don't think I am. I think I'm using it exactly as it's meant to be used. I'm having to use bombs here just to get by. This is this is tragic. Oh my god, things are taking so long to die. And then this fucking Arrow of light thing gives you insane knockback. But it doesn't list anywhere. Oh, right. I can pick up those hearts. I can sure pick up those hearts. We need more damage. Literally all the things in here are not good enough. Hmm. This... This does not bird well. Curse of Darkness and XL Floor. Curse of Darkness does give us piercing, which is rather nice. The 
damage just isn't enough at all. I know I'm not charging my chocolate milk, but even when we charge it, it's not enough. This is, yeah, this is very sad. I've got to charge it to full to deal good damage. And it just takes so long to charge. Lovers. We can pick up health on this floor. What the hell's going on? Can we run into enemies or not? I don't understand. Just hope for the best. Keep pushing through. Hope for the best. Yum heart again. Got a black heart there out of something. Okay, just... Can we melee or not is the question. Because I don't really know. We melee... I guess... Yeah, we can kind of melee. This is just weird. This run has, has gone all sorts of box. How do I not kill that little jumpy fella? Die, you heathen. Also, goddamn. These arrows of light. The just insane amount of knockback it adds. It's crazy. A golden penny from that? What the heck? Sausage. I love the way it just goes. Sausage. Right. We can try and find a secret room to take advantage of this lover's card. We will lose magic skin for that, though. But I think it's worth it. I think losing magic skin is not that terrible. God damn, this is... This is just horrible. I also need to find a secret room at some point, which is not great. I lost my eternal heart there. Better get to melee in now. Oh god. This room's bad. I <laughs> just can't kill anything. Look at this. What the hell? What type of champion are you? What kind of dog is this? Fucking get back here, you shithead! <laughs> so enemies die really fast with this setup. Others take an absolute beating. Secret room, oh secret room. Where are you? Fuck. I can never find secret rooms on the womb. We're somehow staying alive. I don't really understand how. We're making it work. Hey, goat friend. Oh, God. More lumps. Wait, what? Why can't I hit the lumps? I can't hit the lumps. Oh, God. Brimstone, boy. Hello. That's pretty nice. This wafer thing seems to be helping me a ton. Like, a shit ton. Okay. My little dudes are spawning a lot now. I don't know why they weren't before. But I'm very much happy to have them around. Because they seem to be doing a lot of damage for me. Leave me alone, sir. Yes. Lover's card. Oh, yeah. Fucking shithead. I mean, that's not bad. That's really not what I was looking for. I was looking for something transformative for my run. Why won't this thing die? We've just summoned this absolute army right now. Just stay in there. We'll deal with the fallout afterwards. Don't kill my lasery boy. He's doing good work. It ain't much, but it's honest work. 
We get like a little thumbs up thing at the end of the floor. I'm not sure what that's about. You have to give me the eyes, did you? You had to give me the laser eyes at this hour. Oh my god, the weird brimstones. They're going crazy. Just take the damage and ignore everything. Little thumbs up. The thumbs up doesn't seem to do anything for me, though. Down we go. We are somehow still kicking. I, I really don't know how. This is, this is going to be a miracle if we win this. An absolute miracle. I'm just kind of walking into everything, hoping for the best, using my absolutely ludicrous knockback. heart in there as well. Why not? The wafer saves the day. Just keep tap firing, running into things. <gasps> Give me that heart. Thank you. Oh, I think we lost our laser boy. He was a laser boy. I said to you later, boy. Like, we somehow keep coming out of the room exactly the same amount of health every time. And I'm I'm really completely dumbfounded by how exactly that's happening. I'm running directly into things with Reckless Abandon and it's just like, meh, okay. I was really hoping for an on-hit effect out of that then. Seems that we've gone the wrong way. Oh no. Big sad, big sad, big sad. That would be so good if it was a little bit later on. Honestly, though, let's just take it and get one free at a, uh, full heart at the start of the next floor. Nice. Oh, can I go the right way for once, please? Just that one time, please. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I've got golden bombs for my 99 bombs. Thank you. Exactly what I needed. Oh my god. Yeah, we just keep coming out at full health. I don't really get what's going on. I've clearly done something right, but I, I really couldn't tell you what it is. It's something to do with this wafer. Maybe I just have really long iframes. And that's how it's saving me. I don't know. We got our laser boy back again. Goodbye, Grimaces. You are no longer. Yeah, my, my, my trio. My trio of fellas doing a pretty good job. Fire thrower. Brimstone Bender. They're all good. Didn't really need to do that, but I've done it now. Okay, boss room time. <laughs> Okay. How, how did that bomb end up there? Did you see that? The knockback is ludicrous. I'm telling you, it's the knockback. It's fucking crazy, my dudes. He's killed my brimstony boy. I can't believe you do this. Dude, the bomb knockback. It's just knocking my bombs into another fucking age. Oh my god, I keep getting hit. No! I'm so nearly dead, and the feet are not easy to bomb. And bombs are our main source of damage right now. Just keep bombing and moving and hoping for the best. One day one of the bombs will hit correctly. Fuck! They tricked me. Damn you! No! He's almost dead, you f 
Fuck. Okay. Well, that, this is it. This is literally it. He was so close to dead, but this is endgame. Let's, let's just stay completely still, placing bombs and holding up this thing. That worked exactly as planned, yes. But yeah, this, this, this fucking stick item couldn't be more useless. <laughs> It, it's very visually impressive, but it is doing sweet naff all in terms of damage. It's doing nothing. Wow, we made it through the first phase. On to the next phase. The much simpler phase. Gonna have so much more of an easy time now. Apart from when he does that and insta-kills me. Yep, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. I'm not going to do this for six lives. It's just pointless. Let's see if we can get something insanely good out of this, shall we? Nope. <laughs> what was this? The only boss room items that appear are ones that modify damage. Oh, that's so good. Excuse me. What the fuck are these? Oh my lord. They're incredible. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. This is the end of this run. Either way, kind of a crazy one. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.